Hello my little stars, welcome back to Sunny Stream. Let's go find more endings. In returns the Tandabus, followed by the giant butterfly of doom, followed by the angry pony, followed by the wren, and then some cheese, and then a rainbow, then a book. What does this mean? It means Sunny needs to get up and then question her decisions in life. Uh, what was that dream? Butterflies and cheese? What was that about? Wait, could it be? Does this mean giant butterflies are coming? What about my book? There's no way. That would... There's no way. That means what I think it means. <laughs> no. Unless... <gasps> I gotta ask my friends about this. Of course you do, Sunny. Who better to ask than your friends? Sunny leaves the bright house. The town is bustling with activity. Izzy is near the smoothie cart, Pip and Zip are hanging out on the streets, and Hitch and Sparky are in the community garden. Okay, who should I ask first? Well, who should we ask first? Well, we always go with our bestie, of course. Izzy! Right, Izzy's got the imagination to make sense of this. Does she? She's got a lot of imagination, but I don't know if she can make sense of it. Sunny walks up to Izzy near the smoothie cart. Hey friend, what's up? Izzy, I got a bit of a problem. Oh, is this like when the world was at stake or when our friendship was in jeopardy? Or is this a I don't know what ingredient to put in your smoothie kind of problem? Um, maybe somewhere in the middle. Listen, I need to ask you about the dream. I had a weird dream last night and I thought you could interpret it. I knew this would happen. My dream said you would ask me about your dream. It did? Oh yeah. <gasps> Does this make us dream buddies? Yep. Uh, definitely. Okay! Was your dream more of a lucid or a prophet- Or a prophecy type dream? Or maybe it was a false awakening? <gasps> Don't tell me it's a night terror or a nightmare! Um, well, there were some rain clouds and a scary pony face that was laughing. Oh, and a piece of cheese. <gasps> it's worse than I thought! I got just what you need! Right here! Um, let's see. I swear it was here just a minute ago. I'll go check. Be right back. Izzy trots off. <sighs> oh well. Who should I ask next? Hmm. Who should we ask next? Let's go bother Hitch and Sparky. Right, Hitch. He'll know how to handle this. Sunny walks up to Hitch and Sparky, and much like always, Sparky is sucking on a flower. Hey Sunny, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you too, Sparky. So what's your friendship problem today? How did you know? I mean, this time is a little different. Oh? I'd like to ask you about... Pfft, we're gonna ask about Sparky. Sparky's too cute not to ask that. How's Sparky been doing lately? Oh, he's... Him like a dream. Yesterday I thought I heard him say Dada. <laughs> it comes and goes. It's pretty miraculous we even found the egg to begin with. More like Hitch found it. I wonder where it came from. Beats me all that matters is that I'm going to be the best at Dragon Dad in Equestria. I think you're the only dragon anything in Equestria. A stallion can dream. I hope we can find Sparky's parents or at least another dragon. Hey, didn't one of your dad's old ponytails talk about dragons living in high, hard-to-reach places? Yeah, they lived in caves or in the volcanoes. What's a volcano? I don't know. Hmm. Sparky, what are you doing? Hmm? Sparky, you're eating the cabbages? Don't eat the cabbages! Not the cabbages! Oh, why am I yelling at you? You're just a baby dragon. Exactly. Oh, <gasps> he made a cute crab! Oh my god, it's adorable! Sparky sees on the cabbages and transforms it into the cutest, most adorable little crab you've ever seen scurrying away from the screen. Oh no, sorry Sunny, there goes our salad. Oh, it's okay, we'll plant some more, even better this time. Well, I best you get going then. Not much more use in this vegetable else garden. You're right. I suppose so. Be seeing ya. Don't worry. 
I got it all under control. Sparky hiccups a bit of dragon money residue. Oh dear. Bye, Sunny. <laughs> Sunny walks away from Hitch and Sparky. We better leave those two alone while Sparky is having a little hiccuping issues over there. Alright, who's talking at? Simple, we gotta go see Pip and Zip. Come on. Right, two minds should be better than one. We're not gonna ask them about the dream. There's no point. Sunny walks over to Pip and Zip. Hey, Sunny. Pip takes a selfie. Uh, Pip. Ow. Zip not just Pip. Hey, I had just the right angle. Oh, hey, Sunny, what's up? Guys, I have to ask you something. Pip's phone. I'm mean, gonna ask you about your phone, Pip. Huh? This old thing? It's so last week. All of today's photos are already on Facebook. Oh, it's very fancy. I've never seen anything like it before, visiting Zephyr Heights. Yeah, it's just super. Nothing like a little portal that'll take you away from what's right in front of you. Oh, come on, Z. Look, it's a hundred pictures of me, and that's right in front of you. Pip's phone has a notification. <gasps> oh my goodness, this can't be! Oh no, what happened? I can't believe it! I just lost a follower! Is that bad? Bad? It's the worst thing for an elite influencer such as myself! I can't breathe! Hold me, Zip! <sighs> oh. oh, good grief. Pip falls into Zip's hooves. <sighs> Sunny... Why don't you take off? I'll go take care of Pip. I can help. I can't sit around with Pip like this. Zip, do you need an extra hoof or two? Sunny, don't. I got this. I'll get another account and follow her. Oh, can I make one? With what? You don't have a phone. Oh, right. Well, think of me as an unofficial follower friend. Will do. Now I feel excuse me. Okay, see you later then. Bye, Sunny. Oh! Zip carries Pip and flies away, barely off the ground. Oh my god, she just... <laughs> because she lost a follower. Good lord. Well, I think that's every pony. <sighs> Maybe a quick nap won't hurt. Okay, off we go. We just have the little drama queen just flopping over. Sunny walks back to the brightest and falls asleep in her bed. A cloudy dreamscape stretched out in front of Sunny's vision. Oh my goodness, Princess Luna! So cute! A figure emerges from the rolling fog. Who's there? Identify yourself! We have not formally met, but I know you. I know all about you, Sunny Star Scout. That voice? That mane? <gasps> You're... Indeed, we are Princess Luna. Oh my hoofness! I mean, it's an honor to be in your presence, um, your knightliness. Oh, <laughs> at ease, Miss Star Scout. Whoa, I have so many questions. I guess I'll try and narrow it down to just the juicy ones. What happened to the Guardians of Friendship? Are the Guardians of Friendship safe? They have fulfilled their duties as I will follow suit. Were they as great as in my dad's stories? Quite so, and then some. They were as powerful as they were humble. Wow, I'm humble as well, don't you, won't you say? A humble heart is thought of itself the least. In time, Miss Stars, Star Scout, thy will become a strong-willed soul as Princess Sparkle. Thank you, Princess Luna. Now, is that all that fills thy conscience? I suppose so. In that case, we will return thy back to thy plane of reality once again. Pray you have a safe travel, young filly. Fare thee well. Thank you again, Princess Luna. Oh, so cute. Luna is covered in a fog of cloud once more. The cloud fades off, revealing the vastness of the dreamscape. Sunny walks over to all her friends back in Maritime Bay. Hey, friend. You look like you may or may not have had an epiphany. Yeah, what's up, Sunny? I worried about you all day. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you to feel so down in the dumps. You <laughs> did. Sunny, is there something you'd like to tell us? I've been thinking about it for a while, and I think I realized something. Oh, before you finish your thought, I tried the pineapple and potato smoothie. It was yucky. Pineapples and what? 
Sparky holds in a sp Oh no! Do tell me you didn't try to give it little baby Sparky. I don't think that's what Sunny had in mind to tell us. Isn't that right? Yeah, um, where was I? Oh, you were going to say that my follower count is back to where it was. Yeah, it was quite the divine intervention. No, that wasn't it either. Oh, what was it? <laughs> Sparky lets out the build up to spit up, covering everyone in dragon magic. Sparky, what did I tell you about not using your inside dragon magic? Sorry. Oh, it's okay, little baby Sparky. We can forgive you. So cute. Wow, enchanting tastes just like my smoothie. <sighs> oh well, I'll remember it later. Oh, that's okay, Sunny. We'll crack the case eventually. Okay, let's take a groupie. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that picture. That's cute. Ending four of five. We got another ending. Woohoo! Let's head off to another one.